Precision. It has come back to visit us again. We were presented with a challenge: well, how to show Dunlop people um, how they how they are passionate in a very precise, precision-driven way. We want consumers to recognise that the Dunlop Zone is the place for precision fitment when they're fitting their high-performance tyres. We wanted something young, we wanted something that would really stand out from the clutter. Our whole concept revolves around um, human precision because this is what it's all about, is how one actually approaches tyre fitment. And we've used parkour and stunts in our message and in our advertising concept to actually communicate that to the viewer. One of the objectives that we set out at the beginning was to, to, to capture all of this stuff, this really exciting stunt work, etc., in camera. Uh, the, the viewer is hugely literate with stunts and tricks, etc., in, in, in the movies. Um, and uh, we believe that a lot of them are realizing that, that, that a lot is achieved in post production. So what we, what we decided to do was to actually have an absolute minimal intervention in post production. We can craft the, the pictures, the framing, uh, the lensing, uh, selecting the location, but when you start working with the kind of talent that we are, the surprise is to see what they physically can do, because at the end of the day, I'm putting up a camera, and they are then turning that shot into the magic that we're looking for, because we're working with guys that are possibly the best in the world at what they do, and to sh sort of showcase that kind of quality is a, an absolute treat. Right here we've got an early morning skyline shot to set the scene for the uh, TV commercial and obviously the early stunt which we come up with is this one going past the TV aerial over here which they will obviously rehearse a couple of times and get that one correct. shots on set today for the advert um, is actually been very close to the plot, the brief that we got, um, the storyboard that we saw. It's uh, very close, uh, there's a few extra bits thrown in but it's always like that. Uh, but the, the, the jumps themselves were off. There's one particular one up on the roof where we're walking right on this very thin ledge. Uh, that took a little bit of getting used to. Ability to put out, out of your mind the height that they're working at, jumping, walking along thin girders, it's a five story drop. That, that's what freaks a lot of people out. So it's this very special person who can do hardcore, that can just jump between a building and not worry about a five, six meter, six story drop. Standing on that ledge up there on top of the roof, that's, I can do that on the ground, no problem. I can run on that. But take that same ledge and move it up to, I don't know how high this one is, it's ridiculously high. Um, it, suddenly that starts playing with your mind. So this, at the moment, has been a lot more mental. When they say it's exciting to do all of the CSEDs, but it is dangerous and you have to dedicate a lot of time to train because we are all qualified and highly skilled sports people. The jumps are pretty standard, uh, stuff that we, we do regularly on a day-to-day -day basis. There's one that chases 
hopefully going to do a little bit later on, which is, this is unique, never before seen. It's something we pushed for, um, it wasn't in the storyboards, it's something that Chase put together with Dane, um, it's never been done before on film, um, as far as they know it's never been done before, so just something special, especially for Dunlop. Um, we found like a rail situation uh, with a drop. And uh, there's a new move I've been working on, which is like a vault where you jump 180 onto your like legs. It looks really strange, you know, you, you, I've never seen anyone do it. You land like I am on this rail and then you pop off, 360 backflip off the edge. And um, it's just cool, you know, it's, it's quite quirky, it's, it's very acrobatic, so it looks nice. I'm dreading the shot where I take off my shirt. I've never done that on screen, so I'm stressing that one big time. I think I'm more nervous about that than standing on the edge there. A new precedent in terms of the success that we had on the first commercial. We um, had a remarkable success in firstly its uh, execution, but I think it really changed how people perceived uh, Dunlop and to now be able to raise the benchmark is pretty much where we are at the moment. In the strategy, which is human precision, um, we're basically transferring the idea of driven by precision into the human um, a a arena. But at the end of the day, I want people to just go, wow.